It's 8.07 a.m. September 18th. I believe it's a Sunday. Okay, metaphysical coffee time. Creation's beginning, part two. I'm going to try to be quicker and a little more informative than I was in part one. It's just that there's so much and almost no one's aware of it, so what do you cut out um, that's why I wrote the books this video is a basic summary is all it is it doesn't have all the details but speaking of which let's get right into it um, creations beginning part one we talked about uh, well, I talked about how sentient energy actually came uh, was actually created basically by happenstance uh, no individual made it happen. There was no original God always everywhere. All that religious garbage is just that garbage. Um, well, in part one, I talked about how the original first being came into being. I talked about the five different energy fields that there's, I talked about the fact that there's five different energy fields that have to come together to create sentient energy. It doesn't mean it's always only five, but there's a minimum of five particular energy fields that must come together in order to create sentient energy, spirit. <coughs> And there's always been, even though everything everywhere is energy and it was in the beginning, there was also some heavy particulate matter. Uh, it came from the stars. No, it's what was used to create stars and planets and people and everything else. The people came from the planets, so indirectly the heavy particular uh, mass uh, is what made uh, the people, every planet, the, the people are relative to the materials found on that planet. That's why ETs look different than we do, uh, to some extent, because they're on different planets. They even, uh, they have uh, two suns in this one uh, part of their galaxy. Uh, they have so much radiation hitting them all the time that as their bodies were actually made and then as they continue to develop they have this real thick silver-like gray-like skin that actually reflects all that radiation allows them to live some planets have a lot of with life on them have a lot of methane in them and uh, there's the life there breathes methane. Uh, anyway, <coughs> so to pick up uh, where uh, creation's beginning, uh, part one left off, we have these five different energy fields that were coming together, that came together, and they started just coming together, just bonding with each other turning into one thing from five and there happened to be just five in that situation becoming one bonding excuse me cheers salute coffee so you have a uh, 
these five energy fields coming together creating sentient energy and there was a little bit of heavy particulate matter nearby but as the um, energy produced by this coming together and bonding uh, of all these different uh, these five different energies it literally started attracting a little more heavy particulate matter um, and when it did as it was developing when that happened it started uh, that's when the uh, this other group of beings that were part of but they they came from the formation of the original first being but they didn't come from the completed original first being <coughs> well this is in book one of the creation series creation is beginning in your origin uh, and uh, Excuse me. I keep getting close to that finish line, but I just can't reach it. His heart's just barely still going. Anyway, um, so this, um, as the original first being was coming together, it, and it got to a point where it was bad. Yeah, between two-thirds and three-quarters of the way complete it started it created a different energetic field that started pulling in a little more heavy particulate matter not a lot but some which was making it lower frequencies as soon as that happened part of the uh, energy that was inside the original first being as it was coming together uh, I call them energons they're very 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 high energy less than the one percent uh, lower frequencies uh, it's it's like electricity flying through a line, but they're finer than that and, and higher frequencies. Um, so they separated. So they're kind of um, family members as in uh, cousins or something like that, if you want to relate to it uh, in a human, physical human being way. Um, so, uh, then the original first being finally started solidifying okay and as it did it uh, when it finished and became alive it happened to have uh, pulled in enough heavy particulate matter to be 27.5 percent lower frequencies <coughs> So that's that's the first being that we all came from, and then it all of a sudden was sentient life. It was sentient energy. It was alive. It started flying around and it was enjoying itself, looking at everything, and then it realized it was alone. And I say it because it it wasn't male or female. It was the original first being and it kept looking it started going faster started getting a little freaked out oh, I'm the only one I'm the only one I'm the only one and 27 and a half uh, percent lower frequencies uh, it's not by our standards it's not really dirty but it, or aggressive or you know have problems relative to lower frequencies but uh, um, it's not as compassionate as the as the majority of us are the majority of beings are 17 percent lower um, 17 percent lower frequency souls if you add up all the numbers of beings the, the very vast majority of us are that are 17 percent soul 
which is clean and strong. It's good. So anyway, it started freaking out. It was having some real serious issues. And finally, <coughs> excuse me, uh, finally got to the point where it decided, uh, it realized, decided whatever that it could, that it needed to have company and it split itself into two slightly different beings. It took itself and pulled it and separated itself into two beings, but more one of this type, more of these frequencies over here, more of those frequencies over there, and that was the creation of male and female. That's where this male-female thing came from. It's all simple. If you can actually see what's going on, it's like a leaf falling from a tree. It just is. I mean, you know, <clears throat> there's a due process. The plant's starting to shed its leaves. doesn't need them uh, through the winter. All it would, the leaves would do for uh, most of the trees that lose the leaves, all it would do was just make the tree colder. From the... Um, cold hitting the trees and the, the hitting the leaves and the leaves attached being attached to the trees so anyway uh, that was the creation of male and female but at that time when it did that when the original first being no longer was and there was the two halves of the original first being uh, they already had issues it, you know the damage a, a lot of some serious damage was done okay um, the higher the amount of lower frequencies the less hard energy something has uh, as basic rule uh, it's pretty much like that across the board exceptions always but that's the basics the basis of it and the less heart you have, the harder it is to deal with stuff like that. So, uh, um, they decided that they wanted to have more company because they didn't want to be alone. They didn't want to be the only two. Now they, it was so much better having two, you know, uh, two people that, that can talk to each other. They wanted to release more of themselves. <clears throat> so, uh, that's when they actually started building creation, this creation that we're in, which um, although there's some beautiful things, especially everybody that's in it, um, to sneeze and not to sneeze, not to sneeze. Um, So they took it when 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 you're your normal self, spirit, sentient energy, you can literally take a, as much as and no more than one third of your total energetic mass and remove it from yourself and open it up, spread it out, and it becomes little beings. If you could, you can't, but if you were if it were possible to release more than a third of yourself, the rest of you would just come apart. You'd, you'd literally die. And we are eternal beings. As long as you don't uh, bring about the reason to have to be destroyed, you'll live forever. And the only reason you'll ever be destroyed is by abusing others. Shut up, stomach. Uh, it's a simple thing. It's not trying to find the good and the bad that's in creation. It's trying to understand what happened and why things are the way they are. If someone's 87% lower frequencies and they don't bother anyone, I protect them. 
Oh, yeah, I'd protect the hell out of them. If anything goes to attack them, I'm going to take care of what's attacking them. Make sure they're okay, and then leave. Leave them alone. It's not their fault that they're 87%. They were made like that. The original first being male and female were responsible for many crimes against the creation that they developed. That's why they're dead now. Completely destroyed May 23rd, 2013. So anyway, uh, they decided, the two halves got together and they decided they wanted more company. So, they took as much of them, they knew, they reached into them, they brought themselves together. Once they separated themselves, they fixed themselves to where they could never come together and be one again, because then, then they'd be lonely. They'd be putting themselves in jeopardy of being lonely. So they cha transformed their energy to a point where it could, they could come together like two hands, but they would always separate. into two being separate beings again. Um, so, um, they put themselves together and played with their energy and they could feel where they could release a third of their energy and uh, that's it. And then they started the planning. They knew that lower frequencies, at, at the time of creation, lower frequencies are stronger. So they knew that when they created these other beings, they wanted them, they wanted to take away the lower frequencies because they wanted them weak, because they want to control them. So they have to be high frequencies. So um, they reached into themselves and pulled out a large amount of uh, um, higher frequencies that are servants. They also reached into themselves and pulled out a huge piece. As a matter of fact, uh, the first one created was uh, Luc the one they call Lucifer, uh, who's not the devil or nothing else. The, your God and your devil was the same person, the two halves of the original first being. <coughs> that sinks your boat oh, I understand how you feel but it's you know it is what it is I'm not gonna lie to you you know what what's what's the purpose of a lie personal gain um, at the cost of your own honor no I don't think so anyway so Lucifer, they, uh, this first protector, the first one they created was the one that people call Lucifer, excuse me, and uh, he was 20 point something percent lower frequencies. He had to be strong, but not as strong as them. They have to maintain control. So they went ahead and uh, made him and and he was big very big itchy 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 anyway uh so uh um and the reason why is well they were gonna build this creation and they wanted someone to control that would control everything for them but at the same time they knew that they when they built this new creation they were going to take a third of themselves what was left out and then they're going to uh, 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 take a certain percentage of all the negativity in there out I think it was about 92 93 percent it might have been 97 I don't know it's in the book okay for me to go back and look and see right now, I have to pull part of me back into the body to go look. I'm not doing that. I'm getting the hell out of here, okay? The, the best possible way that I can. 
That's why I don't do crank ups anymore. I'm still killing shit on the other side when I need to. At least twice a day. It's usually more, but I, I can't do anything about that. But that's why I can't do crank ups anymore. If I go to try, Lily just literally takes the energy right out of me. She says, no, you know, you're coming home. It's time for us to be together and go to work. To be one again. And not one individual, but, you know, like the hands. Uh, I'm huge on the field, and among many other things. And, uh, you know, the field comes out of me. It's part of me. And she flows in and out of me, but also through the field like a highway. Anyway, uh, Oh, there's things, by the way, in the videos, little things that are not in the books. But the vast majority of information that you're not hearing now is it's all in the books. There's only small exceptions to that. So if you have the books, you might want to put in it that... Uh, um, Their first protector, which has been called Lucifer, is uh, the first thing they created, and then smaller, um, high frequency parts of themselves, like 1% uh, lower frequencies or less, with their servants. And that's what we call the regular angels or demons, depending on what they do. Okay, so anyway, um, they created this huge initial first protector that's called Lucifer. <coughs> today with all the wrong uh, uh, thought processes, devil and all that stupid stuff, he's protector. And uh, then they went inside themselves, they put their energy together, they took their energy, released a third of it, and then they took, I think it was 93% of the lower frequencies within it, they just took out 92 point something percent, 93 percent. And they separated it into an orb and put it to the side. Then when they did that, then the first protector they created, the one people call Lucifer, he literally surrounded it, took care of it, made sure nothing broke off, went anywhere. He was like a warden for the jail, for their jail. Uh, that coffee's gone. Uh, anyway, uh, and then for the per percentages, of what came out of that third, of themselves that they release. You have to go to the book here. I'm not going to open it up and read it. Um, uh, you all can do that um, if you're interested. Um, I apologize, but it's too hard for me to do. Uh, anyway, so the vast majority of that third of themselves that they released, maybe it was four-fifths, I, I don't know. I have no recall on this whatsoever and I'm not going to look um, but the majority of it was pulled aside and it was two huge orbs of energy uh, oh when they uh, when they um, wait a minute It must have been like 97% of the uh, lower frequencies they pulled out because everything that was left was like 2% of lower frequencies or less. So I guess instead of 93, it might have been 97. I don't know. It's in the book. Either way, what was left is source and uh, is clean source. So then they took that, and they, t they took a bunch of it, uh, maybe four-fifths. Uh, again, go please see the book, uh, book one. Um, and they 
seven, they took it out and then they split it in two parts, one being larger than the other. So they made two orbs. One was twice the size of the other, uh, or close to it. Total mass, it's about almost twice, about twice the size. Um, and uh, that vibrated and came into two different beings. They, they fix their energy so that when they separate part of it, it'll vibrate and pull apart into male and female. They had to make sure that everyone that they would always be company. Again, the only the only one thing not following that rule was what people call angels. Their servants. They were male and female. Both they were like the original first being, not separated into genders. Anyway. Uh, so they, uh, these two large, huge orbs of source started vibrating and pulled into two different parts. One part uh, was male and female. The male was called Armelius, my brother that I love. Um, and the other one, the female part is Lydia, who is vicious. And she's, except for teeny, teeny pieces here and there, she's gone. And then the larger piece, as it started separating, separated into Aramelius and Lilith. <coughs> the male and female parts. And as Aramalius and Lilith, those the male and female part of this huge source, and they made this part, they took the frequencies of compassion, trying to make it weak, and then fortitude to make it strong, and they put it inside that larger orb. They took those frequencies and pushed them in there. And then as it was separating male and female, they took more of the power and put it into the male. Aramalius, but the female is still incredibly strong Lilith. Okay, now as Aramalius started to form, it started to form its focal point and it was incredibly strong. But as the focal point came together, that's where the intensive strength, power, and intelligence was. With Lilith, it was the same thing. Okay, it's like that with all, all spirit. And then as soon as these two focal points, one in Aramelius, one in Lilith, once they had actually come together and become, you know, unique, whatever, they were pulled out. The, the original first being female took Lilith, um, took Lilith's strong focal point out. <clears throat> original first being male took uh, the focal point of Aramelius out. The focal point of Aramelius, strongest, most intelligent, powerful part of him is Ara. It's what's inside me. Uh, the main focal point of it's inside me. And then Lily was the uh, um, name of the uh, focal point that was taken out of Lilith. So that's why I really have uh, uh, two spirit mates. I have Lily, who's the intense part of my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and spirit mate. And then this Lilith that Lily came from, same thing. They've developed a little different, but it doesn't matter. We're from the same beginning. Um, and Aramelius uh, was huge. He was manipulated and uh, uh, by the original first being male and female, mostly the male, and turned into something he was never meant to be initially. And he'd never listen to me. He was actually stealing my energy every time I went into a body. And I, I was almost always in the body. Um, so. And then when Lily and I first came together, you know, we, we were both pulled out and released and naturally we just started coming together. As our energies started into in, intertwining, you know, f uh, meshing into each other, there was a boom, like a two stage. Ex
two-stage explosion. And that was the creation of those frequencies that are known. It was a creation of a subspecies part of ourselves because it's still part of me, still part of Lily. But it created their own individuality, uh, their own individual uh, race of beings that's known as dragon and unicorn. That's where they came from. That's where the energy fields are. Remember, we, we have bodies to, you know, we say dragon, we have a picture. We say unicorn, we have a picture. That's physical image. The reality is energy, spirit, sentient energy. That's who we are. When, <clears throat> when we're young and we gather around and uh, we drive up to a, say a park where everyone's getting together to have uh, something to eat, a couple beers or something, uh, um, whatever vehicle people drive around in, they get known that that vehicle that they're in gets attached to who they are, but it's not who they are. It's the same with these bodies. My last life, I was Gandhi. Big difference between me and him. You could fit four of them in me now, probably. Anyway, uh, so uh, those are the two pairs, two sets of clean source. You know, original first being was uh, 27 and a half percent, you know, lower frequencies, 27.4 something, whatever, 25, 27.5 percent lower frequencies. And the source that they created was 2 percent. about 2.1, 2.2% max. Then at that point, they took the rest that was left of that clean energy, that clean source energy they had separated from themselves, separated and cleaned. And they, they created the seven fields of essence. There was universal, which the female is planetary, the male is star. Uh, there's plant, okay, um, the beings that were put inside plants, this animal essence, the beings that were used to have lives and animals. There was faith. There's human. See, human, fey, animal, plant, universal, five fields of essence. Then there are the servants, which we usually just call angels, but they're the ones everyone's called demons too. And the The seventh is a large group that's known as Feynman. It's so hard to separate the Fey and human frequencies because they're so similar. 
in the beginning there was no such category. They were, they were called either fey or human. But the vast majority of all fey or human beings were actually famous. I created that category at a later date. But those are the seven different fields of essence. And then of course you have source, which contains all the other fields of essence plus all these other frequencies that have never even found expression physically or seen frequent uh, physically or very infrequently actually understood or perceived by the rest of a, a essence. The abuse frequencies I mentioned, <coughs> the abuse frequencies I mentioned mentioned in Creation's Beginning Part 1 that were just created out of the abuse, the frustration, the inability to handle um, bullshit that everyone's been put through. Nobody could see that either. Even Source, most Source can't see that. In the very beginning when they made uh, Araf, when they when they made Aramelis and Lilith, when when they built them and then pulled me and Lily out, they manipulated my frequencies. <coughs> excuse me, so I could actually see things that they couldn't perceive frequencies better than they ever could. They had to do that because I was quote unquote their protector. So I had to know exactly what was coming towards them. Uh, on me, because I'd be right there with them for the long, longest time. Till I started having lives, or when I was out of body, when they were releasing more of themselves to increase the size of, cre of this creation they built. This horrifying uh, environment of abuse. <clears throat> And some, some of you out there are having a nice life because you were due one, because you'd had so many bad ones, you needed to have a couple good lives. Back to back, or at least one. To keep you from going insane. They didn't want anyone to go insane or to start shriveling up and die. They wanted everyone to get bigger so that at the right time you, they put you, the two spirit mates, in a different universe as all these other universes um, and that are empty enough uh, for the most part. Almost every single one of them. Anyway, uh, uh, they put you in there instead of releasing a million beings, you release a billion. I mean, that, that's just a, a numbers for ratio pro thought process. Different with each in, uh, uh, individual set of spirit mates. Anyway. So, in part three, I'm going to go into these different fields of essence and explain more about them and a little bit about the source. Everything's important. Nothing's any more important than anything else. All right. Folks, take care and see you soon.